How's it going YouTube? Uh, Kevin Montavani here, Montavani Racing, and I uh, haven't done a video in quite a while, but I'm gonna, basically what I'm doing is I'm working on my Porsche Cayenne uh, diesel uh, 958.1, I believe it is. Uh, anyways, what I'm doing is I just finished doing a lift kit on it with the wheels and tires, and what I'd like to do is add running boards that uh, automatically pop out the bottom uh, because it now sits up a little bit higher and it just makes it easier to get in out of the out of the seats so here are the parts that I'm working with I basically ordered these from China so <clears throat> it comes with a box of no instructions basically but here are the rear brackets here are the front brackets with the motor um, actually, I should say the only instructions it did come with are the instructions for the wiring on where to locate uh, the wiring uh, underneath the dash. And these right here are the actual running boards. So pretty decent looking kit, but just to give you a quick overview, this is what we're doing. We have to remove this plastic panel here and there's actually a cover. This is a cover you pop off. You can, it's split right back here it's split right there you pop that off and then behind it are screws and then you kind of have to get back here there's a c-clip that drops in between this piece and this piece you got to pop it out through the top and then underneath here there's a whole bunch of other screws um, that you have to do to remove the rest of that and and then you have to basically custom make custom cut the plastic down there and to fit the brackets and these are the brackets that you're mounting to the frame so we'll go through those obviously in a little bit more detail now what I want everybody to know is that this is not for the faint of heart and um, I'm not gonna go probably detail by detail through the whole thing it's gonna be a general overview of getting this done uh, but if you're handy you should be able to figure it out um, if you're not then you might want to call a buddy that is. But, uh, but in any case, let's jump right into it. So you have to take off this cover up here and it just it's, it's held in by rubber plugs so you just stick the uh, um, like an interior plastic tube behind a uh, tool behind it pop it out and then there's a hook that goes up underneath here so just be careful when you pull it down from the top kind of drop it down and that will undo but uh, inside here see those studs that stick out that's 10 millimeter bolts removes this plastic piece and if you're ever doing running boards, like, like factory running boards, you take this piece off and actually the running board mounts in the exact same spots. But what I was telling you is right here, the, this piece has the same looking side on the inside and there's just a, a C-clip that drops in between there. You gotta stick a screwdriver inside there and pop that C-clip up front and rear. If you don't do that, you'll break the tab inside of here and then you'll be plastic gluing it back together or just figuring something out. But in any case, be careful of that. So now these are the brackets that you have to put underneath the car. They are labeled right rear, right front. And then if I can give you some insight. So this is gonna mount, if I could do a good job here, it mounts up basically right here and you know that because in the bracket in the back there if I drop that down you see there's a plug there's a body plug you remove that body plug same thing here remove that body plug and that lines up to one of the holes and in the back here right there it lines up to that right there so you should be able to mount all this stuff Actually, you know what, I think 
No, right, rear. Yeah, that's how it goes. And then in the front here, same thing. Body plug. So you'll see there's a body plug there, body plug there, and then in the back you have just an empty hole. That's what that lines up to. So now what you're gonna be doing is this unique little way of bolting everything up. So here's the hardware. You take these little T-bolts and you take this and you slide it up into the hole and then, and then you put the, obviously you put the bracket up against it and just tighten it down and it just sandwiches it in. So that's how this, this works. They also give you shims that you're gonna probably, you know, check to see if it's, you know, I had to take it on and off a couple of times. But in any case, I'll get the brackets mounted up uh, and then kind of show you basically the final product there. And then I'll show you how to cut the plastics because basically these plastics, these brackets are, for the most part, kind of somewhere inside there. So you need to cut the plastic out to make it work. All right, I'll jump back into that now. So here's your finished install product. So in the back here where it there's there's a strap to whatever this is. Maybe it's a second fuel tank because I see the fuel tank on the other side. But anyways, that bolt right there, I did that's that bolt. I found one that was just a little bit longer in my pile of, uh, of screws just because I compensated for the thickness of the plate. And then... Again, those T-bolts just slid inside the holes up here in the front, easy to do. And then I decided to red Loctite them just as an extra precaution. Now the backside of the nut is does have some gnarling on it, so it will theoretically hold, but I figured I'd just go a little extra. But anyways, that's basically the finished product of, of this part of the install. That's probably at that angle because of the sun coming in, but there you go. Um, now I'm going to show how to cut the plastics out. So all I did was I took the plastic, I laid it back up underneath here, all right, and then I went underneath where that bracket is and then basically just kind of drew some lines, uh, or I'm going to draw some lines there and then cut out that part and then mount it up underneath there. So just to give you a quick look, basically, uh, yeah, that one went here. <clears throat> all right, so all I did is just, I marked the bottom, remarked the top here, or the underside, and then I cut it with the scissors, and then I scored that back crease, and then just popped it, snapped it off. Again, both sections right there. So now I'm gonna size this up, make sure it fits around the bracket, and then we'll cut the other plastic piece.
line. Let's tilt this up. Installed. Let's go from this direction. See how the sunlight. There you go. Um, just to explain a little bit, um, up here the whole thing gets cut in half. Uh, but you know, again, like I said, I'm not going step by step detail, but just giving you the general overview. This one right here, you can actually cut around it, and it stays as, as one piece. Um, you can see how it how it stays a full piece back there around it, but. That's just being a little extra detailed. But anyways, that's how they are. Now we mount the brackets up. Also, real quick, this is a, a jack point. So this has to be removed um, when you put this plate on because the bracket goes pretty close to it. And it's got a tab that sticks off the side. You probably saw me inside of the time lapse. I cut that tab off and then filed it down so it so it mated next to next to this bracket. Because again, the winglet comes over this far and mounts right about there. So that's what I did to that piece. All right, I have everything laid out. So the motor, uh, the motor piece or bracket goes in the front, and but the motor actually faces towards the rear. If that doesn't make any sense. And then the the bracket that's just uh, just swings on its own goes inside the rear of the car. So there's the rear. There's the front. Um, it's pretty simple. Take the bolts they supply and basically drop them through, drop them through into here and then uh, put the bracket up and then tighten them up. So now this is pretty straightforward. Like I said, just bolt them up, but make sure you leave everything loose because you're gonna have to put the running board on here and it has to be sized up and, and kind of leveled. Uh, same thing here. So now what I'm gonna do is, is run the wiring because I need to extend this bracket so that I can actually put the running board on it. So let's do that now. So this is the module, I guess that makes it all work. Here's the harness. And here are the instructions, or lack thereof. Um, kind of gives you a basic rundown here, kind of. And then I guess something to splice into. So uh, we'll start there and see how it goes. First, got to remove that panel. And it looks like just that one screw right there. So I'm going to start with that. Now, in the instructions, they actually show this entire panel removed. Uh, as you can basically see here, see how there's no panel right there and you can fully access the wiring harness they're trying to direct me to. And then you gotta find that module right there, which uh, I did find. It's right, you can see. that's what they're telling me to find so what I've deduced from this is just looking at those three wires and that single wire and on the other page it points down to the bottom of that module um, I'm figuring that they want you get this light here I want you to pull off the bottom connector. And if you turn it around, you can see right there that, well, you can't see it very well, but there, it's the exact same layout with those three wires and the single wire. I was able to kind of see that from here. I saw the three wires right there and then the single wire over here. So I'm gonna pull this apart and I guess splice into the wires that they're asking me to splice into. And what you're doing, is you're splicing in and cutting this. This is part of the whole spool over here, but you're cutting that off 
and then you're using these little connectors that they gave to uh, basically splice into whatever the wires that they're talking about. So let's do that now. So what I've done here is I had a wire tie on the top here. I cut that off. And so I'm gonna slide this out. And it looks like on the back here, there's a way to do that. I'm gonna stick uh, my uh, pointer inside here and, uh, and, pull it and push the tab back. And that should pop this piece out so I can access the wires. All right, so now that it's out, you flip it around and it should match. Come on, this is not very YouTube friendly. All right, so from what the instructions said, this single wire right here, I should get my pointer. So the single one right here, which is, looks like it's, I don't know, it's an orange maybe, or pink or something. But anyways, it's the solo one right here. That one is supposed to be connected to the red cable. And then this, this one right here that I'm pointing at, that one connects to the black cable. And again, that red and black cable are found right here. You cut this open, you can actually see there's a red and black cable inside there. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, now to update you on what I've been up to. <clears throat> been away for a while, but not in YouTube land. Anyways, so I hope you can see here. I went ahead and spliced into, like I said, that very bottom one, I spliced my wires into where it said to go. I think I said it wrong before um, I, I was backwards on the red and, and black wire on which one I went to, but in any case, you, the instructions did say that. And now you could see where that purple clip is. That's actually the module that they give you. I just found a spot, I zip tied it to that um, harness right there, and then plugged the bottom of it in now i did find the power source for it which was very nice um over here next to the hvac it's a nice big heavy gauge power and then right above it is a ground so <clears throat> i went ahead and just tapped into that you could see the black and red wire that go underneath the carpet i literally just ran it right right here underneath the pedals and then right to it um anyways the uh the Red pole is a six millimeter by one, and the uh, ground pole is a uh, eight millimeter by 1.25. Um, I didn't back the nuts off of what was there. I just added a nut to it, um, mainly because that bracket right there to the left, or that you see here in the, in the frame is, is grounded, and I didn't wanna risk removing that nut and shorting something out, because I left everything live. I didn't disconnect the battery of the car, so. Anyways, so that's how it's all wired up right now. So, uh, all right, to catch you up real quick, all the wiring's in, uh, modules up there. So what I did is I removed this panel. For some reason, I can't get it completely off. There's must be some other clip or apparatus holding it, but I was able to kind of pop it loose from these parts and I was able to pull the carpet up and I found a body plug right there and I went underneath it and where one of the splash shields are at that we modified um, for the brackets, uh, you could see through there and you can see that. So I'm gonna remove that, basically run the wires down through here, down out there, and then run one over the other side and one down to this side. That is the plan. All right, as I said, to give you some insight on what I did, I, you know, I put them, I mounted the module up there, so I ran the cable down through the carpet and then underneath here, there's a uh, body plug. And then what I did is I couldn't find a safe way to run it underneath the car. So I found that through, I don't know if you can see, but there's daylight right there. And through there, I was able to run basically up over the pedals. I was able to run the uh, cable up underneath here, through here, through here. And all I did was basically drill the center of that plug out and then pushed it through that plug. So the kind of plug is still in place, sort of water, keeping it waterproof-ish. But uh, um, you know, you have to remove the fuse panel cover. All you do is just stick a body 
um, one of these plastic body tools, uh, interior tools, and you pop it out from there and it folds back. And then, then you can take and shimmy this piece out. Um, you just kind of pop it up and then these two pieces are snapped together. So you just kind of pull this one up, unsnap them, and then pull it apart. And then that whole one comes out. The other one has the latch for the hood. So it was a little bit more challenging and something must still be back there. I wasn't able to get it off. But anyways, that's what I'm doing there. So now I'm gonna drop the wires down as you see, and then plug it up. And then now I'm gonna set the running board. All right, so what I did is I just went ahead and plugged this in, opened the door and that extended out. So then I unplugged it so it would stay extended out. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install the running boards. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So the running boards have these little slide pieces inside of it. You're gonna drop, make sure one of these drops into a notch there and the other one drops into the notch over here. Take your screws, now I'm not a fan of these, I don't know what they are, if they're stainless, they're definitely poor stainless, um, I might put a better screw in it later on, make sure it doesn't rust. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that this end piece is just in front of the flap, the back flap back here. And this is basically just even with the front. Snug it up. All right, so like I said, all the brackets are loose right now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. <clears throat> oh, open the door first. I'm gonna plug it in. And then now, see what it does. So it basically retracts. pretty much where I want it to. It's, it's, it has a gap there and it's touching on this side. So if anything, I could go ahead and put a spacer in these bolts up here, which these are actually not even tight yet. So as I tighten those, they might even, it's gonna get closer. So uh, that side might even do the same thing. But right now, like you could push this in and out and kind of adjust where you want it. So if you want it further out or you want it further in, you can kind of just push that right now and determine how exposed you want it. I'm gonna probably just set them so they're all the way out. That way you get the most retraction or uh, extension, I should say. But there she is. So now I'm gonna go under there and tighten everything up. I am uh, gonna probably put some Loctite on the bolts that tighten up the uh, um, the brackets or the extensions to the bracket or the, the, the pivot bracket. But uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope uh, that helps you when you do it because it took me, it's gonna take you a better part of it in, an entire day basically to do both sides. Um, it took me a half a day to figure out just the one side 
And then this side obviously is a lot quicker. But in any case, good luck.